All right, well, hopefully today we can work on getting the <coughs> torque tube bearings out. I've got some all thread to hopefully be able to pull those out. Yeah, it's a little better looking there. It's, that end's not looking so great. This end's looking a little less bad. But at least we got to get the bell housing off so we can get the <coughs> drive shaft clamp off. And then hopefully we can clean up the end a bit so we're not you know, dragging all the rest through or whatever and then pull that all on out of there. Now the bell housing shouldn't. The only two, maybe it's just sticking. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. Uh, hammer, hammer. Hey, that worked. All right, so now bell housing out of the way for now. Okay, now this should slide off. Now we can pull the drive shaft out of the torque tube. So I'm fairly sure that just grabbing it and pulling isn't going to work, but yeah, I guess we'll give it a try first. Ah. Yeah. Now maybe if I had more grip. Oh my! Move on. <laughs> yeah, and stopped. Okay, we might have to come up with a better idea here. But I suppose before yanking everything out of here, too, <coughs> I could probably measure the distance from the bearings to the end of the tube. So this is the transmission end. And it is looking like the first bearing in there is right around 11 and a quarter inches from the flange. Uh, flywheel end. Engine end, whatever you want to call it. So there we go. <coughs> Against it. And we are at 8 and... 8 and a sixteenth. Well, this is turning out to be a pain so far, so feel free to enjoy this as a time lapse. Okay, getting it out this far was an absolute pain. Uh, I think probably because there's some rusty spots on the drive shaft. Well, it just got a lot easier all of a sudden, and looks like that's because it's out. That was an absolute pain, but we got a drive shaft out finally. That was a solid hour and a half of pure struggle. So, there's some dirt and stuff in there. I guess we can try and get out before we drag the bearings out through it. All right, first things first, I don't have any fancy woodworking tools, bandsaw, anything like that, so the wooden block I cut out fit in there looks like crap. I know. Some all thread. So we're going to go ahead and put it through the tube, just like the drive shaft normally goes. And we can see it sticking out down there. Wooden block on this end. Here. Put that there. And get some nuts and washers. I think on this end, just one nut and washer is probably gonna do the trick just fine. Alright, so carpenters everywhere can cringe 
Uh, I tried to get those spaced evenly so that they would <coughs> clear the end of the or clear the bearings when they count the end of the tube, but apparently I didn't cut the board straight. Yep. Hard to tell, but we might be starting to move. Alright, so I had to do something to speed this up as it was taking eternity and killing my hand during that. So, <clears throat> once you get the nuts, the double nuts, both aligned so I could get the heck on both of them, now I can use it to spin this. Hopefully this will go a little quicker now. We're making progress now. <clears throat> so I think what's happening here, why the torque wrench, or the impact gun stopped, is yeah we got to the middle bearing, but I think what's also going on is there's enough of the all thread sticking out now that it's effectively acting like a torque tube, or not a torque tube, a, a torque stick, or we've just hit the maximum amount of force that that all thread can take before it just starts to deflect and it's just absorbing the impacts from the impact gun now. So the options are either cut the all thread and then probably have to go get another piece to install the new bearings eventually or whatever, or just do it by hand. I'm do it, go at it by hand for a bit, but it's probably going to be long and tedious. Now, as you can see by the length of rod that's sticking out, we've been going for a while. <coughs> Good news is we're at the last bearing now. I'm pulling on it. Because remember before it was 11 inches? Now it's. Well, it genuinely took hours, but. Everything's out of there. Got the bearings and the vibration damper. And so I guess probably need to figure out some way to clean out the inside of the torque tube a bit. And I guess we'll have to go through and decide whether any of these torque tube bearing carriers can be saved or if they all need replaced. Well, here we got sitting on the bench the whole assembly of bearings and damper and everything from the torque tube. So everything here is, you know, sitting in the order it was. So here's the trans end and the clutch end. Right, I didn't mix this up. And, yeah, okay, so bearing closest to the clutch turns. Bearing closest to the trans turns. Keep in mind the back side of these looks a little dirty, but I have to clean up the carriers. Um, middle bearing. It ain't budging. So, it's, uh, it's definitely the problem, and I'm glad I took this apart. Um, there's even some rust on the damper and everything, and I, so I think all this was just from it sitting and condensation and stuff, so... You have to clean up these carriers, you have to find something to clean off all this stuff without damaging that vulcanized rubber, because I don't want to have to buy new ones of those each for 150 bucks. Uh, but, yeah, I think hopefully I can get some new bearings, press them, or press the old ones out, get the new ones in, and hopefully be back in business. And for anyone wondering, yes, even the really crusty ones, you can manage to push out with a vise. So I just used a socket about the same size as the bearing on there. And I used a block of wood, actually the same one I used to pull them out. Now, <clears throat> I at first was using just these on either side, figured, you know, one there, one there, and push it out. But it was starting to look like it was maybe kind of flex this a little bit, so I stopped and used one the full face of it. As you can see from this one, you know, it sits in there. A little bit so I use that just to get it to start and it's even to the block now so now I can undo this and get these on here and push it the rest of the way out 
There we go. Now we're just turning it and they're coming on out now. There we go. I didn't even get anything landed on my foot. So there. Uh, nothing more than a vise, a socket, and some blocks of wood. Got all the bearings pushed out. I just kind of set them here just to keep the orientation and everything the same. But So this is the... I guess the uh, one from the transmission end, and it, it turns, but not really smoothly. But, it's not the bad one. The bad one, this one that's in the middle, and no matter what you do, it won't turn. So, it was definitely no good, and I'm glad I took this thing apart.